Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Doll Chat Diner. Um, I've got an interesting one for you today. We're, we're going to talk about doll bodies and diversity. Uh, there's been a lot of talk in the news about diversity in general. Uh, and there's been a lot of talk about, about changing doll bodies also. So let's go into that. But I'm going to give you a little bit of history first. I've been collecting for, what, 40 years or something like that. I hate to even think how long. Uh, but I've seen a lot come and go, and I've seen, I've seen this kind of stuff, you know, the, the diversity thing come up many times. So let me, let me tell you what I think about a couple of things. Um, first of all, before the mid-50s, this is what a bride doll would look like. This is a horseman vintage doll, but as you can see, it represents a bride doll. This is a toddler doll. This is a little girl doll, toddler. Flat chest, flat feet, uh, no high heels, you know, um, but, you know, kind of a little bit glamorous sort of face paint, you know, red lips, you know, the rouge or the blush or whatever, uh, you know, eye, eye uh, shadow. Uh, but this was what a bright doll was. Uh, a, a bride, a little girl dressed as a bride, and this was common. No one had a problem with, with dressing a child as a bride. No one had a problem with that. They, ha they had a problem when this happened. In 1959, Mattel came out with Barbie, of course, and this, uh, this more realistically proportioned, and I know that, that people will get me on that one, but it's a more realistically proportioned uh, fashion figure. Now, is it appropriate for kids? The kids sure, sure thought so, because this became the best-selling doll and has been the best-selling doll for decades. Um, but the, it's, a, it's a more realistic proportion, and it's, it's a uh, bride that looks like an adult bride. She's got a, a nice figure. She, she looks good in her clothes, and that was one of the points of, of Barbie, is, is uh, so that she'd look good in these, these outfits, these wonderful outfits that she had. So there's Barbie. So fast forward. I mean, there were so there were so many complaints about Barbies too mature, Barbies this, Barbies that over the years. I mean, I'm sure you've all heard it. Um, in 1991, there was a company called High Self Esteem Toys. That's right, High Self Esteem, and they had they came out with a doll called Happy to Be Me. And Happy to Me Be Me was a doll that was, and if I, I can show you on the back here. Happy to be me. Here's here's the whoops. Here's the Nash, the the regular fashion doll body proportion supposedly, and then here's whoops. Happy to be me, proportion. So she's a much you know she's a fuller doll, and all this. This doll did not do well. This doll was on the shelves for a while, as you can see. It was marked down here, original price stickers, but I think it. Finally, I don't think it ever really did sell. I think I, I got this off of a, uh, you know, I don't know, somebody dumped it or something. But anyway, I understand the body proportion, but if the doll isn't good, the doll's not good. And uh, no offense to the makers, but this doll was not a great doll. And I think the sales reflected that. So no matter what her body type was, collectors and kids, nobody responded. So let's fast forward. Here's, here's an interesting take. This is the Lamely doll, which came out uh, a year or so ago. Um, and it's uh, Nick, Nikolai Lamely, I believe, is the guy's name. Uh, great guy. I mean, a young guy who uh, also felt that there wasn't enough body diversity in dolls, in fashion dolls. You know. the, and he came up with a doll that was uh, supposed to represent or represents a typical 19-year-old. So she's not the normal fashion doll uh, figure, and she's not the normal fashion doll proportion. Um, nicely made doll. She's, um, you know, she has a lot of movement. She's jointed and all this. Um, not very glamorous, you know, a very kind of, you know, she's, she's a simple, simple makeup, simple, Simply dressed doll. So how this uh, he's he's doing this with crowdfunding and all this. So uh, very interesting take. So how well this is going to do remains to be seen. Um, they're also doing a guy with a dad bod. 
So it's what's supposed to be a normal male body also. So interesting. But the, divar the body diversity thing keeps coming up. So Mattel heard it. So this beautiful fashion doll over here, all right, Mattel felt under pressure to change their Barbie and they added the curvy Barbie. Now, nicely sculpted, nicely sculpted, but uh, the doll has hips and she has, you know, thighs and she's uh, uh, not the normal, she's a little fuller in the arms, you'll see. She still has a long neck and she still has that Barbie face. Um, here she is. There's another version of her in the box. She looks a little uh, thicker in the waist and the hips in, in this one. But nicely done. So uh, that's it. That's, that's what's trending right now. And it's just interesting to me that this, every few years, this keeps coming up. And uh, I don't think anybody's really going to be happy. Uh, you know, whether this is going to be popular with collectors, who knows. Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, and be sure to check out our YouTube channels. And uh, thanks very much for watching.